Gorilla. Giants that look like peaceful, plant-powered linebackers. Until they move. And the forest instantly shuts up. They're the largest primates alive. 200 kilos of calm muscle wrapped in vegetarian confidence. They eat leaves, yet could accidentally rearrange your skeleton just by being mildly annoyed. A silverback rarely fights. He just stands there. One stare, one breath, and every creature nearby quietly reconsiders its entire life. Dominance without violence. Nature's quiet flex. That chest drumming? Not a performance. It's a long-range broadcast of, I'm calm. Don't make me not calm. And here's the twist. Beneath the monster build, gorillas are shy. Introverts with absurd biceps, easily stressed, and pushed toward extinction by the only ape arrogant enough to bulldoze their home. If that feels heavy, brace yourself. The next ape is smaller, smarter, and somehow even more chaotic. Chimpanzee! The cute, smiley primates you saw in cartoons. Until you learn they run forest-level war campaigns with the same enthusiasm you have for pizza. From far away, adorable. Up close, 80 kilos to muscle, strategy, and emotional chaos. Think toddlers. If toddlers could climb trees, plan ambushes, and rip your face off because Tuesday felt strange. They're brilliant. Tool makers, problem solvers, little scientists of destruction. A chimp cracks nuts with stones, fishes termites with sticks, and shifts to battle mode when a rival troop enters the wrong branch. Their politics get messy. Alliances, betrayals, dominance moves, drama where HR is whoever hits hardest. And yes, chimps hunt monkeys. Efficient, merciless, morality optional. So if gorillas intimidate you, chimps are cousins who smile while calculating endings. And the next ape? Peaceful at first glance. But conflict brings out a very different instinct. Bonobo. Apes that look like chimps. If chimps went to therapy, found inner peace, and decided violence was too much paperwork. They're the diplomats of the primate world. Same intelligence and agility, same potential for chaos, but bonobos solve problems with affection. A lot of affection. Enough to make biologists stare at the ground and reconsider their career choices. Their society flips the script. Females lead, males relax, and conflicts end before they begin. No wars, no coups, just a flexible, cooperative commune. But gentle isn't simple. They understand hierarchy, empathy, and kindness better than most executives. The twist? They survive in one shrinking corner of the Congo, a peaceful masterpiece on borrowed time. And the next ape? Quiet, orange, a forest engineer with a brain uncomfortably familiar. Orangutan, the quiet orange philosophers of the rainforest, moving so slowly you'd swear they're buffering. They live mostly alone, not from antisocial vibes, but because they're too smart for everyone else's nonsense. Give an orangutan a branch, it's a tool. Give it a problem, it's an engineer. Every night they build fresh tree mansions with perfect leafy design. Their strength is absurd. Long arms, gentle grip, and enough power to swing like gravity is optional. The tragedy? Their forest disappears faster than they can rebuild it. A genius cornered by destruction. And the next ape? Smaller, louder. A jungle-wide concert on legs. Gibbon, the jungle's acrobats. Light, fast, and built like living slingshots. With arms longer than their legs and shoulders engineered for chaos, gibbons don't walk through the forest, they fly. Brachiation is their superpower. One swing, two swings, and suddenly they're 50 meters away, mocking gravity with casual elegance. They mate for life, sing duets at sunrise, and guard their territory with love songs loud enough to wake every creature within earshot. Don't let the small size fool you. A gibbon can outmaneuver predators, rivals, and definitely you on your best cardio day.
And the next ape turns the volume even higher. Siamang, the loudest romantic couple in the primate world. Imagine a gibbon, but with a built-in subwoofer and a habit of singing at full volume before breakfast. Their trademark is the throat sack, a black balloon of sound that inflates until the entire forest vibrates. Their duets travel for miles, echoing across valleys like nature's own opera warm-up. But behind the noise, they're gentle partners. Lifelong bonds, shared parenting, territory disputes solved with vocals, not violence. A dramatic voicemail in primate form. They're powerful acrobats too, always moving as one. The problem? Their stage is shrinking fast. And the next ape changed the whole planet, including theirs. Mandrill. Monkeys so visually chaotic that any artist would accuse you of exaggeration. Blue cheeks, red nose, yellow beard, a traffic light face on a body built like a furry linebacker. Mandrills don't walk through the forest, they announce themselves. They're the largest monkeys on earth, thick, powerful, and capable of sprinting like a multicolored missile. Their canines? Longer than a lion's. The rainbow-faced forest clown comes equipped with knives. Mandrill troops reach hundreds, moving like a loud, shifting storm. And the alpha? A walking carnival float everyone respects instantly. But beneath the neon chaos, they're still forest animals. And the next primate abandoned the trees. A mountain monk that screams, meditates, and flips its lips like something possessed. Gelada baboon, the cliff-dwelling philosophers of Ethiopia, primates who look like they're judging you from an uncomfortably high altitude. They abandoned trees long ago and claimed the mountains, where they sit for hours chewing grass like elderly monks trying to decode the universe. Their red chest patch glows like a built-in do not disturb sign, or a warning light you'd be wise not to test. They speak in screams, grunts, and that cursed lip flip that barely counts as a smile. Herds can reach a thousand strong, a rolling wave of fur and loud opinions. Predators? Gelatas don't outfight them, they simply outcrowd them. Tiger, the striped warning sign of the natural world. Majestic at a distance, terrifying up close. If you made it through, subscribe, like, hit the bell, and tell me which ape fascinates you the most.